Okay, and welcome back to another episode of Bob's Watches uh, here at GMG. So today, something different. We have a very, very special, but quite frustrating 50th anniversary AP. So in front of you now, you have the AP Royal Oak self-winding chronograph. It is the 26240ST. Now the ST refers to the steel case and bracelet. And if you look closely, this is classed as the khaki dial or the green dial. Now, I find this watch frustrating because I feel like it is 90% on its way to being an absolute world beater, but the green dial for me just doesn't stand out enough. When it catches the light, it's extraordinary, but it just doesn't catch the light enough in my opinion, especially when you compare it against something like the, uh, the yellow gold 1165 weight green Daytona. It's very similar in fact to the the olive green Nautilus, which again doesn't stand out, it has to be in the right position for the green to catch. That being said, it is still stunning watch. As with all Royal Oaks, all the hour markers are set in white gold and they stand out against that fantastic Grand Tapestry dial that AP is so famous for. It also offers 50 meters of uh, water resistance, which isn't great for a watch of, of this caliber, but again we would always advise you not to go to any depths in a watch like this anyway and if you do go in the water always make sure your crown is fully screwed in so like all royal oak chronographs you've got the three sub dials now this watch is a 41 millimeter case and it has a depth 12.4 millimeters from a depth point of view it is it does stand quite proud so it's a 41 millimeter case and for quite a large watch it's actually quite thin when taken into account as always the ap you get the double folding clasp and as i said before this is the 50th anniversary edition of this watch which means you have the open case back with the 50 viewable on the case back now they also do a non 50th anniversary of this watch but this watch in itself the 50th anniversary whilst it comes in steel like i'm showing you now it also comes in 18 carat um pink gold the ap used the term pink gold as opposed to the Rolex because it's Evero's gold, so 18 karat pink gold on a full bracelet. Other dial colours in this range are the black, uh, the blue, the silver. For me personally, I am a big fan of the blue, but like I said, when you catch the light right with the green, it is, it is sublime. Uh, it just doesn't stand out enough for me. The 50th anniversary range was actually released in 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the range, which means you can no longer get it in 2023. So essentially, the watch has been discontinued. You can still get this watch as a, as a non 50th an, uh, edition. 50th anniversaries are essentially discontinued. Price point wise, when this was available, the list price was £32,100. My opinion is is quite cheap for a watch of this of this level. Quite a lot of watch for your money there. On a grey market, you'd have to do some scouring. These watches are available. 50th anniversary ones always come on more of a premium than a non 50th anniversary. Now in possession of GMG, so you will see this watch on the website very very soon i don't think this watch is going to hang around for long it will get picked up pretty pretty fast the royal oaks always tend to go quite fast when we get them in the chronographs have a look on the socials take a look at the website if you're interested as always we'll put our numbers on the bottom to get in touch if you want to uh, look at buying this watch um but aside from that this is the ap 26240st with khaki dial 50th anniversary edition